Hello there, my name is Jose Martinez and today we are going to discuss the differences between binomial and Poisson distribution and hopefully leave you with the ability to decipher between the two. But first, we need to learn what exactly Poisson and binomial distributions are and the determining characteristics each distribution has. So first, we are going to discuss binomial distribution. What is it? how to use it, and what symbols portray the, what meaning. Secondly, we will be discussing Poisson and cover all the key points we covered with binomial. After learning about each distribution, it will be time to compare them side by side. Once we can determine the difference between Poisson and binomial, your knowledge will be put to the test. We have a few interactive examples that will give you, the viewer, a chance to test your knowledge about binomial and Poisson and just how useful they can be. And finally, we will inform you of how binomial and Poisson is implemented in engineering because what's the point if we're never going to use it again? Let's begin. Binomial distribution created by James Bernoulli was given the name binomial because the root of the word means two names. It was given this name because every probability distribution has success and failures or independent yes or no experiments. The parameters of this distribution are given by n, the number of trials, and p, the probability of success, where the number of trials has to be 25 or less for the outcome to be accurate. When faced with a binomial problem, there are multiple ways to solve the problem. Below is the equation used to solve binomial probabilities. To use this equation, you must first find the combination operator, which is shown below. It becomes quite simple once you have identified each variable in a problem you are given. Another method is using the binomial table, which can be looked up on a scholarly website. Now that we know how binomial distribution works, now it is time to discuss when binomial is applicable to a given problem. When there is an exact probability of an event happening, for example, suppose 80% of adults with allergies report symptomatic relief with a specific medication. If the medication is given to 10 new patients with allergies, what is the probability that the effectiveness is exactly 7? The exact probability of this problem is 0.8 or 80%. Next, there needs to be a fixed number of trials. For this example, the 10 new patients stands for the fixed number of trials. Binomial also has only two possible outcomes. The probability that 7 patients find relief with the medications and the probability that 7 patients do not find probability relief and relief are considered the success or failure outcome of this trial. Because binomial relies on a fixed number of trials, the probability of success will always be constant. And because the, because the occurrence of one of the tr patients finding relief does not affect the other, this shows that each trial is independent from the other. Now we move on to Poisson distribution. Simeon Dennis Poisson created the Poisson random variable in 1837. The Poisson random variable is considered the probability of the likelihood that a rare event would occur over a period of time. This does not take into account of the probabilities that it would or would not occur, which is unlike the binomial distribution. The probability of such a value is given by the equation. Now, unlike the binomial, the lambda value does not change. It stays the same whether or not you are given the standard deviation or the mean. The Poisson table, which allows you to find multiple values at the same time, is given where the probabilities are from zero up until the number or value you are looking for which is helpful, but does not give exact solutions or values. So further mathematics is required. 
for that or the use of the formula on the previous slide. Poisson distribution is generally easy to spot in a problem. Whenever a mean or average of an even is given in this problem, it is a direct link to Poisson. Similar to binomial, if there are only two possible outcomes, success and failure, there, this is another sign of it being Poisson. If there are an infinite number of trials and trials are independent, it could also be a Poisson problem. Here's an example of a typical Poisson problem. Through a stoplight, a cop observes an average of 11 cars per hour during his normal shift. What is the probability that less than five cars in a five hour period will go through this stoplight? We see right away that an average is being mentioned in this problem. When number of occurrences per unit time, space, etc. are given, Poisson is generally the method used. There are also no number of trials mentioned, which classifies this example as a Poisson distribution problem. Comparing these two methods can be difficult. We made a clear chart for these that will clear things up. There are similarities and there are also differences between the two. For example, the number of trials for both these are at extremes. Also, the outcome is something that should be looked at. You can also look at the Poisson distribution as an approximation of the binomial, referring back to what we have been over. Both these distributions can be used to test for independence. Also, the probabilities remain constant from trial to trial. Now it's your turn to test your knowledge of binomial and Poisson distribution. For each example, we want you to decide what type of distribution you should use on each example given. You may pause this video after each example is read to give yourself time to decide on an answer. A life insurance salesman sells an, on average three life insurance policies per week. Calculate the probability in a given week he will sell more than five policies. The answer is Poisson distribution. The tell-tell sign of Poisson distribution is having any type of average or mean mentioned in the problem. For this example, the life insurance salesman sells on average three life insurance policies. The three insurance policies would be your lambda value in this case. The probability of a man hitting the target at a shooting range is a fourth. If he shoots ten times, what is the probability that he hits the target exactly three times? The answer is binomial distribution. It is binomial because we see that we are given an exact probability, a fourth, or 25%. We are also given a fixed number of trials, 10, which as you can see from the first example, there are no number of trials listed because Poisson has an infinite sample space. A company makes the electron, the elect, a company makes electric motors. The probability of an electric motor is defective is 0.01. What is the probability that a sample of 300 electric motors will contain exactly five defective motors? The answer in this case would be Poisson distribution. However, it can be also binomial, but considering how large the sample space is, it would be more convenient to use the Poisson. So we talked about how and when to use these methods and even gave you some examples. Here are a few more when dealing with the Poisson method. You can use this method to predict failures of transformers in a power system. Also, find the probability of cars arriving hourly vol finding the hourly volume into the highway or an earthquake occurring at a particular fault line and a specific time interval. Also, the probability of a cyclone in a certain amount of time. Okay, so now there are also many implementations of the binomial distribution. 
like figuring out the probability of peak floods occurring greater than the designed peak flood in a specific time. Also, probability of a car turning left at a specific intersection and the probability of a concrete block failing exactly two times during a strength test. So to wrap things up, today we learned about the differences between binomial and Poisson distributions and when it is appropriate to use each distribution. We also learned how these distributions are implemented in engineering. We hope that you have that you leave here today having a better understanding of these distributions and hopefully you get the chance to apply it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any further questions, please see Dr. Colleen Bronner in her office at Langdon 105.